What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be going over a three light setup. This is a really good setup for hybrid shooters if you're doing photo and video. So I'm just gonna break down the lighting setups and just show you guys exactly how I go about when I'm doing my e-com fashion campaign. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for the main light, I have the Aperture 600D. Second light's gonna be the Godox VF200. This light in particular was only to light the background Anytime I'm shooting in studio, I want to make sure I'm keeping those whites extremely white. And this allows me to do that. And the last light is going to be the hair light. And that's the another aperture. That's the 120 D Mark one. I've had that light for like five years and I use that, you know, just to give an extra punch to the images and to, you know, help separate. And in this instance, I'm using it to light her hair. So one of the main issues with lighting, especially in studio, is making sure you have consistent lighting. Now, before you eat me up in the comments, this setup is basically based off what my client wanted, but I wanted to go over some key points so that you can use them in your work as well. As you can see here, right now, only the Aperture 600D is lighting her as the key light, and the other two lights aren't going off. Uh, so for this particular video that the, my client wanted, she just wanted to have the background a little bit darker. But for my work and for the other parts of this shoot, I made sure to have the lights on uh, to keep it a super clean, bright, airy, uh, you know, campaign style video slash photo shoot. All right, as you can see here, the third light, the Godox, uh, the hair light is really coming in, really, really shining right now. Uh, like I said before, you particularly don't have to use it, but if you want to make the images and video stand out, uh, putting that hair light can really add a lot of dimension to the videos and photos. So it's something that I love imp implementing inside my work. And as you can see here, it just really makes the images and video come alive. And um, I just love it. Also, another thing I want to note here as well, the model is actually wearing white. And so in post, that makes it a little bit harder for me to um, make the whites as bright as I want to make them, because when I'm affecting the background, essentially, I'm going to be brightening her outfit as well. So there is a fine line of trying to make sure that, you know, the background's white enough, but not blowing it out too much. Um, any other color, you know, black, blue, red, uh, it would have been fine, but there's only so much I can lift everything as well. So keep that in mind. But essentially, I just really want to show you the setup and the mindset of how I go about my e-com shoots. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys got some value in this video. If there's any questions about the lighting setup or any type of techniques that I've shown you in this video or any questions that you guys have, make sure to leave them in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.